So to enter data onto the calculator, we need to go into Stat and into Edit. And in this case, I'm going to type in the numbers from 0 to 6 because I have 7 pieces of data. And then I would type in my second variable into, ah, now you can see it's, it says list 3 here. That's because what's happened is that list 2 has been deleted. I'll show you how that happens. If you have some numbers in a list, let me just type some random numbers in, and you want to get rid of those numbers, what a lot of students will do is go up to the very top and press delete. That gets rid of the list, not the numbers in the list. So to get those lists back, uh, we would go into stat and set up editor, and that will reset up all the lists. And we can now see that the numbers that I want are there. Uh, there's list four where I typed in some garbage numbers. What you actually do is come to the very top where list four is and not press delete, but press clear. And that then clears those numbers. So this is the data set that I'm going to work with, seven pieces of data. And for me to perform a two variable stat calculation on that, we're going to go into stat, this time across to calc, and there's our two variable stats. Press number two. We've got our data in list one, list two. The frequency, well, there's only one of each. And then we will calculate it. And it gives us the mean for x, for y, and the com combination. So that's how you'd get all that data. If we were then wanting to get a regression equation for those, we'd go back into stat, cross to calc again, and down here are all our regression equations from number four all the way down to our, our C. Uh, that would be gives us sin uh, sine uh, regression equation. But for this case, I'm going to look at a linear regression in the form AX plus B, not like number eight, which is the other way around, but you can use either of those. And again, we can see it's list one, list two. I'm going to leave the other information out for now and talk about that later on and we can see that it gives us a linear equation notice that r and r squared is missing this is because in mode we have stat diagnostics on and this is the default on the calculator so we would need to go into it we only need to turn it on once once it's done it will stay there unless your calculator gets cleared so then if we come back and run that formula again we can see there's our r and r squared now we know that this shows a poor correlation between the two. Just to give you a heads up, if you do need to access those values, uh, you can access them uh, by going into VARS, down to statistics, and all of the variables are in here. Let me just scroll across and we can be able to find there's our R. And just to make a point to you that if we then took that R and squared it ourselves, that number, 0.15, is exactly the same as the variable for our R squared. And that sometimes comes up in questions, especially when they ask us, uh, give us the R squared and they ask us what the R is, um, and if it's a negative correlation. So don't forget that we could actually use this as well to help us get some answers. So we know this is a poor correlation and normally in the questions they'll ask us to look at another regression. Um, so let's go down to an exponential. So let's scroll down. And if you know the number already, you can just press it, but I didn't know what it was, so there it is, it's zero. Press it, list one, list two. Still frequency, there's only one of each, and I'm not gonna worry about the store regression equation for now. And if we come down to that, then we're gonna get our RR squared and RR a little bit better than before. And I was trying to work out why the R and R squared were such low values. Um, I thought I'd chosen numbers that were better than this. And this is quite common. And you've got to be mindful of this, that when you type numbers in, it's sometimes easy to mistype a number or to miss a number out. So firstly, make sure that the columns are the same um, height, I suppose is a better way to word it, um, and that equally that you have the correct number in here. Do we see that it should have been 2.9 in here, not 29? So then if I come and do that exponential again, there's our R squared, much stronger, and, and there'll be a better correlation. And just to, to finish with that, and just to talk about going back to, if you wanted to do, to store those as an equation, so let me go back to the linear. Um, notice that the variables, um, we're gonna come down, um, and this time we can store it um, as, an, as a linear equation into Y1. I pressed alpha F4 to get the quick keys for those variables. Um, and although nothing's different in here, um, it will store that equation um, over in our Y1 so that we can look at the graph of that and that will be discussed in another video. And those values of A and B again 
are in our statistics. If you did want to access those at any point, there are those numbers for A and B over here. So we can see that those numbers would come up, which is sometimes useful for you to use in other further calculations. So thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thank you.